Guys, guys, listen. You guys are all talking about, oh, he hasn't put out any videos in about two weeks. Yeah, yeah, guys, I know. I apologize, okay? I've been working on this really big project for you guys. That's they're coming together quite well. It's going to be something big. Oh, pause. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Second thing we need to discuss. Come here. Yeah. Why don't you suckers tell me I had something on my face in the last video, huh? Right, man, I'll sit up there doing the whole video. So I go back and I look at the video and then I see the comments. Oh, there's something on his face. <laughs> you guys should have told me something. Thanks, guys. Thank you for the support. Welcome to Weekend Horror Stories. If you guys are new to the channel, Weekend Horror Stories is where we sit together, watch and discuss analog horrors that we find are the best. If we do think it's the best altogether, you'll get a shout out at the end of the video. With that being said, Let's start the first video. The first video is coming to us from the killer Yoshi called the Ugly Duckling. Nine, seven, four, zero, one. Once upon a time, by a peaceful lake, an author's lawn was laying her eggs. Little did she know, one of her offspring was born different. It was a duckling. Mm -hmm. Look at this ugly thing, said mm. one of the cygnets, as they peered at their sibling. The mother swan looked at the duckling with disgust. This is not one of my children, she said as she pecked at it, pushing the hatchling away from the nest. Oh. You're a freak and you know it. You will never be beautiful. The duckling cried as its family relentlessly shamed it. Day after day, the family would mistreat the duckling, making fun of its appearance. The swans constantly pointed out their differences such as their size or beaks, though they mainly ridiculed the duck's feathers. Your feathers are plain and gross, like dirt. You could only dream of having a coat like ours. One day, the duckling disappeared. Good riddance, chirped one of the siblings. That runt was tainting our family. Many suns and many moons passed, and before they knew it, they had all grown into graceful and elegant swans. Okay. It is come time for all of you to find a place of your own. I trust that all of you will be able to have a beautiful family like ours, and continue our pure bloodline. Okay mother, farewell, they squawked, then darted off along the lake. Gliding along the water, the swan siblings reminisced about the past. It's a shame really, said one of the swans. Although he wasn't a looker, it does feel strange that he has left us. Oh please Sylvie, as if you care what happened to that thing. If you ask me, between his shitty feathers and that weird stare, it's a blessing that he's out of the picture. Simon that's horrible. Just because he was a little different, didn't mean we had to be such dicks as kids. Loosen up Sylvie. Besides, what good does caring do now? Whatever Simon. Mom praising your cult has gotten to your head. Oh! It's getting dark. Where is everyone? Seasons passed, and the mother swan decided it was time to reunite with her kids. Disappointed that they never came to visit, she swam the route along the lake that her children once did, many moons ago. It is awfully quiet here, thought Mother Swan, as she passed the reeds of what she assumed would shelter her offspring. She found it odd, now to think of it, that she hadn't heard from her kids after all these years. Turning the bend, she hopped out of the water and made her way to the barn. Simon said he was going to move here, she pondered. I wonder if he's finally got some hatchlings of his own. Oh. Approaching the barn house, Mother Swan called out. Simon, Mother is home. There was silence. 
the door was left to jar. Simon, come on darling, I want to see how my beautiful boy has- OH MY GOD! BOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO